Viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Being a police officer is something I've always wanted to do since I was a kid. Been working here for about a little over three years now. Love Boynton, love coming to work. People say that all the time, but I truly do like this place. It's definitely a melting pot of cultures and people here, and uh, it makes for uh, an interesting day and or night at any given time. We're on our way to a animal complaint call. Seems that there's a, a huge python in someone's house. Approximately 12 feet long. So we're, uh, we're gonna go over there and check that out and see what we got. They're like, shh, shh, shh. Do it for one night, so. Wait. You want to see it? I don't know. What, what are we? What are we looking at? Python. Python. I think. Is it yours? No. Oh, it's outside. Yeah, it's outside. It's um. Uh, well, you can see the the body is is behind here. I don't know. If behind. Yeah, I see it. You see it? Yeah, he's going this way. Yeah, he's going that way. Do you know whose snake it is? No. no. See, Probably is about 12 snake? feet. It looks like. Do you guys have a garbage bag, like a like a big black garbage bag or something like that, or an old pillowcase? Fish and wildlife are on their way. They are? Yeah. When, when did you guys call them? They, they'll be here in like 20 minutes. Oh, okay, then we'll just wait for them. Yeah. Yeah, we can put it in a bag if you guys got one. Is that a python, though? Yeah, it looks like a boa. Here's his head right here. He looks domesticated. Why don't you just grab it, go in there and get him? Yeah, how long is he? His tail is right. Yeah, he's huge. Kimball, you want to bag him? Yeah. You want to open the bag and I'll, I'll grab them or what? Oh. Mm -hmm. well, I'll bet. Whatever you want to do. Let me pull them out. Yeah, I'm gonna back. All right, he's starting up. Okay, pull them back. That's All right, keep the light on. Okay. He's right here. Good. Don't strike us. Hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. Hold on. Watch, watch. There's nothing. Right <laughs> he's right there. <laughs> watch. Someone get the bag. Perfect, perfect. Oh, you had him. Yeah. I don't know where his head's at, but what I want to do is I want to slide him from the bag into the pillowcase. So I don't want him to suffocate, but I don't know where his head's at. That's the, that's the only tough part here. This pillowcase really isn't big enough. You can get some air out of that plastic. Bag. Where's his head at? There's his head right there. His head's right there. Hold on. Just get underneath there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Get him. All right, pull the bag. Pull the garbage bag. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's the top. Well, oh, there's his head, there's his head. All right. Here, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, that's good. It's somebody's pet, probably uh, got too big and didn't want to feed him any more rabbits or couldn't bear the sight of seeing that, so they just let him go. Yeah, very, uh, very common household pet, but then, like the iguanas, people got tired of keeping them around the house and uh, 
end up just letting them go in people's backyards. And in the tropical climate of Florida, they take over and reproduce. And, uh, so, so how did you guys find that uh, thing sitting in the bushes? Driving back from the game, uh huh, and it was actually laying in the street. Oh, it was in the I street. I couldn't see the head. Uh huh. And I thought it was like a palm frond or something because it looked like, you know, the pointy thing. Right, right. That it started to move. So how you feel now that he's bagged in a little? I wonder where the mother is. Case. The mother? Yeah. Ah, well, they usually don't travel in packs, I don't think. I hope not. It's just scary. <laughs> scary. The first one you've seen like that? Yeah. In the neighborhood yeah, or any, anywhere else? Like, like in yeah. the wild, yeah. Cool. Yeah. We, uh, they're probably king snakes, but. Yeah, grass, yeah. Those, yeah, they're always in the grass doing something. What's up, boss? What's up? The head's down here in the front. Huh? The head's down here in the front. Is he fat? He's a fat, yeah, he's a fat one. Nice. That's longer than eight feet, huh? Oh, he's like 12 feet. He's like 12, yeah. 12 feet. There it is. He's not gonna hurt you. <laughs> huh? He's somebody's pet. <laughs> somebody's pet, yeah. He's not our pet. <laughs> she were in there somebody. Uh -huh. Hey, mine. Hold on. Hurt him. Okay, I got the I got the back of the cage. Tilt it down just a little bit. Tilt it down. There Smell that cat. Oh, there's a. Oh, there's a... You guys getting a lot of these calls lately or no? But uh, what we'll do is we'll take this one back to uh, one of the pet shops and let them scan them, and find out because they're required to have pet tags in them. Mm-hmm. It doesn't look like he's a very aggressive, so it must be somebody's pet. Yeah. Ah. All right, guys. Thanks, boss. As you said, they're getting more and more calls every day on them. This won't be the last we see of a boa in the uh, local neighborhoods. I like this job a lot. You get to take a guy off the street for a murder warrant or, you know, a sexual assault warrant or something like that. Or being out here on the street, it's, this is where it starts. This is where a lot of detective work stems from. Is, uh, we're the first ones there. Uh, your homicide units and stuff like that, not taking anything from them, but, you know, uh, when we get out there, it had just happened, so. Nah, he ran that stop sign. So we're gonna see what their deal is. This vehicle stopped a stop, ran a stop sign. We're gonna stop him and see what the deal is with him. What's going on, fellas? The reason to stop you? You didn't. Uh, you didn't stop at that stop sign back there. I didn't. You just rolled right through it. You got a driver's license and insurance on you? I got my. I ain't got a driver's license, sir. Why are you driving? I went to go get my driver's license, sir, and they told me I, I can't do it. Why? Because I have a warrant. But for what? The, the, the warrant's out of Florida. For what? I went to go. What's the warrant for? It's for uh, Grand Theft Auto out of Florida. Mm -hmm. Is it open right now? Yes, sir, but they won't. I went to the DMV, and they put me in handcuffs, but they wouldn't take me to jail for it. OK. Why, they didn't confirm your warrant, or what? They said that uh, they won't extradite me out of there. Okay. Go ahead and hop on out for me. Chance appear on that car. Maybe left hand. Maybe other one. Come on over here. Lean up against this car right here. Lean up against the car. Go ahead and hop on out, bro. Walk back over here. Get up there next to you, buddy. <clears throat> Walk backwards. Keep your hands on the car. Do you have ID on you? No, sir. Excuse me? No, sir. Why not? Uh, I left uh, my mom's. Don't come off of that car for no reason at all. You come off again, I'm gonna put you on the floor. You understand? Yes, sir. May I have that left hand? 
Maybe the other one. Come on back over here. You have problems walking or something? No, oh, these, these cuffs are tight. Come on back over here. Kick your sandal off, bro. Kick your sandals off. Kick the other one off. Lift up the bottom of your feet. Let me see your feet. The other one. Okay. That's why. Good move, bud. Go ahead and slide your sandals back on, bud. You come off that car, I'm going to tell you. You understand? You understand me? I said don't come off of that car. You understand? Come on back over here. Hop in and have a seat. He was holding that. That's why he was walking funny. Anything in that car you might want to tell me about. Nothing I know of, sir. Not that you know of? That there shouldn't be nothing in that car, sir. Shouldn't be? There isn't nothing in that car, sir. I'll rephrase okay. it. Okay. Your no, buddy's your buddy's pills. Oh. Didn't think I was gonna find them. Come on, walk around this way. Walk around this way. The passenger. I get the passenger out and he's walking funny. He stuffed some pills in his sandal, trying to hide them from me. I hadn't I hadn't uh, gone in the car yet. Hey, Bo, I have some bad news for you, Chief. I found the rest of your pills. He had these in his, the driver's side on the seat. It looks like he tried to stuff them in between the seats and we turned around on him. He's got, he had these so on his side. Hide your codones? Yeah, these are yeah. codones. So, so I'm gonna call poison control and verify both of them. Just to check this thing out. Double check the numbers. Yeah, hey, could you run through it for me? I, I, I don't know if he stuffed anything else, but let me call and get the initial charge. If we're going to jail, then my real name's Robbie. <laughs> so, you don't know your real So you lied to me about your name the first time? I got traffic warrants. I was going to take care of my warrants this coming up weekend because, because I'm on probation. He's going to take care of his warrants this weekend. I'm going to get him out, Brian. Okay. We'll put him over there in your car. Yeah. My guy, the one I have has an ID. Okay. Go ahead and hop out. Okay, 24 records. What uh, move up to? Turns out this guy's having an identity crisis. And it's because he's got warrants which makes him fail to ID fugitive, which is another charge. Go ahead and slide on. Slide over. At the Beltway, he said he's got a Houston, Texas sticker on the Hey, I don't know if, uh, if they've explained to you what's going on. Have they told you what's going on? No? Okay. Both of you are under arrest for uh, possession of a dangerous drug. Was that a felony? They'll explain it to you when you see a judge later on. I'm an inspector with the United States Marshal Service assigned to the Southeast Regional Fugitive Task Force down in Atlanta, Georgia. The task force is comprised of federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies all working together. Right now, we're actually heading to Gwinnett County, reference an alleged kidnapping. Um, the kidnapping occurred in Cobb County. Two unknown Hispanics that kidnapped a four-year-old child from his mother inside their residence. And based on some information that we have from some CIs and uh, other sources, uh, that we believe that four-year-old might be up in a location in the Gwinnett County area. So that's where we're heading to now. All right. Uh, this is the uh, victim's child. He's four years old, as I was saying earlier. And uh, he's the uh, abductee. Tommy, what are we meeting up here? 
As you guys know, there was the kidnapping supposedly that happened earlier in Cobb County. A Hispanic female was accosted by two unknown Hispanic males wearing masks. Um, they used some sort of taser device. They hit her in the neck with it. She fell out. They abducted her four-year-old son, and they cut off a lock of her hair and left it there. Guess is somewhat sort of uh, proof that they took the kid. Um, Cobb responded, started talking to her. They contacted the marshal service because a phone call was placed back to the uh, victim, the female, and the males had uh, demanded a $100,000 ransom for the return of the child. Since we were here on scene, we had our people all ready to go. If that vehicle, suspect vehicle, which is the white suburban, was there, we would follow. If they would stop someplace to get out on foot and they were not on the phone, our people were going to take them off and bring them back so Cobb could start debriefing for intel reference to the apartment they were in or the house. For all you that's here, come on in real quick. And I give you as best as I can. All I know is suppose these two Hispanic males, I don't have anything further, and it's an old white suburban. And as soon as Tex gets up here and gives us a better thing, then we'll more or less get a couple cars in the area, and we'll keep eyes on until we find out what's happening from here. Before we take them down, I don't want them to have the opportunity to make a call back into the house right. if the child's not with them. But if we watch him get out of the car and he's walking, a couple of us on foot with regular clothes, snatch and grab. We're jumping them, and we're taking them out ASAP, all right? Hey, Danny, what's up? All right, so we've got the location of where the boy's being held. Yeah, we just got it. All right, why don't you guys go ahead and uh, bring him back to the command post? All right, man, see you in a bit. All right, thanks. Fantastic. That's the guy that she met recently uh, on the Internet that's her boyfriend, which means that the boyfriend's more likely involved with this. Hey, uh, they got the car stopped. It's the victim's boyfriend. Let's suit up. We've got the location of where the boy's being held. Looks like apartment nine. We're trying to verify that. Everybody rally up here real fast. All right. We're moving through the house and we're moving fast. You get in these rooms, you're clearing them quick and you're getting... If we hear the child screaming in the back room, that's where we're heading, right to where the child is. If we do have to make entry, we've got to flood the house. If the child is located in the front room or whatever, then we can tone it down. As long as the child's secure, we can slow it down and shield everything like we normally do. All right, just be on standby. We'll give you more information as soon as we got it. Where you guys are sitting, which one is it? Heading over here to the uh, suspect location where they got that child held. Gwinnett County uh, Sheriff's Department SWAT team is going to make the entry for us. Their Marshal Service Task Force is going to set up the outside perimeter. All right, guys, be advised, we're coming in the complex. They're operating two blacked out uh, vans. They're coming out of the target apartment or they're just right. bystanders, correct? Trey, unless it's an emergency, hold your traffic. Guys, be advised we're in the complex. We've got two blacked out vans. Those are their uh, attack team. Tony, it's going to be this one immediately to my left, correct? And All right, guys, we're getting ready to see the SWAT team to deploy. And we're going to cover the outside perimeter coming up on the apartment here. Wear it around the back. Watch the windows, Walt. Watch the windows. Just be advised, watch the windows. Oh, this end, other side. Watch out for the bay. Watch the doors, just watch. Watch the doors. Back them, you got. We're good on the doors if you watch the windows. Watch that window. You got him? Take it, kid. We got him. Got him. Got him. Good job, fellas. Good job. Good, work, man. Good job, man. Good job, man. Got the kid. Good job, man. Good job. Good job, man. Good job. Good job. Good Hola, mi amigo. ¿Qué pasó? Do I speak English? Do you speak English? What is your name? Christian. Okay, Christian, we're going to take you home to mommy, okay? You want to see mommy? All right, pal, she's waiting to see you. We're going to bring you home to her, okay? We're going to take you to your mom. My daddy. I'm not sure, pal, but right now your mom's looking for you, so we're going to take you home to your mom, all right? 
Are you hungry, Christian? Yeah, I'm doing a hamburger. Okay, you want a hamburger? Okay, let me shake your hand, man. You did a good job, little man. You are strong. Give me, give me. You did a good job, man. We're bringing the suspects out now, the male and the female that were inside the apartment. Turn them around to spin them. Okay. That's fine. Is there anybody still inside the house other than, was there two people in there? Hey, can you go grab your car? We'll put them in real quick. Good job, guys. Good job, man. This ended on a good note. See you at the boy. Watch your head. Okay, so we're good to go. We'll go back to uh, to the Trade Center and we'll debrief. All right. Great job, fellas. Great job. If you did not know, the child was actually inside a separate bedroom inside the apartment that was empty, and they had it in a closet wrapped up in a blanket. The woman whose child was kidnapped just came into a large sum of money, and the, she met someone on the internet who they believe is a suspect that we recovered today. So it appears to be a completely legitimate for ransom kidnapping. In the beginning, we weren't sure what was going to happen, but obviously it appears that it, it was legit. So again, I can't tell you enough. Great job. Great job. I'm a detective with the DuPage County Sheriff's Office, about 19 years. I've been task force out to the Great Lakes Regional Task Force with the U.S. Marshal Service for about the last eight years or so. If we come up shorthanded, there, you know, one phone call you can get, you know, 15 guys can come out, they give you whatever you need, so you have, you know, have a, a really wide variety of expertise that can, you know, help you on your cases. <laughs> All right, guys. What happened? Uh, this is Thomas uh, W. in the middle, male white, 10 of 90, so that should make everybody feel old. Uh, 5'7", 135, brown and brown. Uh, he's wanted on an unlawful delivery charge, so it was for dealing. Um, background on this is distributing look-alike substance. So he was dealing something that was, a, right, so it could have been, you know, said it was ecstasy and really it was vitamins or something, you know, something like that. All right, guys, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Police. Hey, how are you doing, police? When was the last time you saw um, Thomas? Is where? In New Lenox. Who lives in New Lenox? You could show us where it's at. Is that okay? What's your name? All right, we'll take a couple guys. We're going to roll with Andrea here over to this uh, this new Lennox address. We're not sure where we're going. All right, just follow. Uh, All right, why don't you come with us, Andrea? All right. So who who's she going to who's she going to ride with, Shelty? Or is Levis? Okay, Levis, you're leading the way, then, bro. You are, because she's going to show you where we're going. Uh, the woman downstairs, her daughter, who used to let this kid stay there. Uh, she says that she believes that he hangs out at an ex-girlfriend's place. Uh, she says that he likes to carry a knife on him, so he might be armed. We'll see what we end up with. All right, let's go. Can I get a, maybe one more guy or two more guys up on this side? Hi, how you doing? Police, can I talk to you for a minute? How are you? Hi. All right, let me get mine. Okay. Can we, you, uh, can we step in for a second? Sure. Thank you very much. Here, here's our problem. Is your daughter Barb? My daughter? Yeah. Or are no. you Barb? No, I'm not Barb. No. no, my daughter's not Barb. Okay, does Barb live here? Yeah, she stays here from time to time. Okay, is she here right now? I have no idea. Okay. We're looking for him. His name's Thomas? Yeah. Yeah, he's here. He's here? Where's he at? He's staying with us, too. Okay, where's he at? We have a, we have a warrant for his arrest. Where's he at? His arrest? 
Yeah, yeah where's, where's he at? Upstairs, I think. Okay. Hey, Phil, here? stand by. He's here. All right, why don't you have a seat for me? Clear. Thomas! Thomas is the police. Come out. Matt up there also. Thomas, come out. Do you understand me? Thomas, get out here. Uh, are you Thomas? Where's Thomas? Where's Thomas? Where's Thomas? Don't look away. Answer me. Step on out here. Come here. Where is he? That's him right there, isn't it? That's him right there. Just cuff him up and bring him out of here. Make sure you're holding the rear. Turn around. Why? Huh? Come here. So we figure out who the hell you are. That's why. I just need you my ID. All right. Come on here. What? You're being I'm evasive. Not. I think you're lying. Well, get my mom. She knows who I am. Okay. Mom! Calm down. It's okay. Just, just, she just knows it's right. you. No, he doesn't. They just put me in cuffs. Hey, guys. He is up there somewhere. So everybody just hold on. There he is. He's under there. He's under there. Pull it up, pull it up. See your hands. See your hands! Stand up, stand up. Turn around and face the wall. Turn around and face the wall. Put your hands on the wall. Do not move. What did I do, sir? First of all, what did you do? Why are you hiding? Most of the time, people don't hide what they didn't do anything. He's in custody. Who told you to walk away from We're me? We're coming down. Wonderful, right? Okay. Um, you got a warrant out of DuPage County for dealing dope. Why'd you hide, man? I don't know. I didn't want to get in trouble like this, man. You didn't think it was gonna be worse hiding? Okay, because we don't, you know, we don't just go away, right? You know, so but it's uh, hey, Tom, it's Thomas, right? Okay, Thomas, it's okay, man. You don't <laughs> be in jail for the rest of my life. Dude, dude. relax. You're not gonna How be in jail for the rest of life. How old are you? 19? 18? 18 right? Okay. You ain't gonna be in jail for the rest of your life, all right? <laughs> no. Maybe you should think about not breaking the law in the first place. <laughs> all right. So you just, you just gotta relax, Thomas, all right? And you know, when the police come to your house and they're looking for somebody, you can't, you can't lie to them. Because it just gets you into a, gets you into trouble in the long run, you know? You seem like a good kid, just don't do that stuff, okay? I mean, why, I mean, was there, were you just scared? Okay. Well, in the future, don't lie to the police, okay? All right, it's only gonna jam you up, bro, all right? All right, come on inside with your mom here. Bye, Matt. All right, let's walk over here to the door. You know, you're, you're the one who got yourself in this situation, so. Yeah, I know. All right, man, take care. Okay, this is who we're gonna go after today. His name is Jermaine. Jermaine's wanted for a bench warrant out of DeKalb County for possession of a firearm, carrying a concealed weapon, and obstruction of officers. Also, he's on felony probation. He has a probation violation for a bunch of traffic charges. Plus, he has a uh, misdemeanor bench warrant for, once again, driving and obstruction of officers. As soon as we know he's there at the house, we're going to go ahead and pull up and hit the house. Okay. Just so you guys know, if something happens in the house, we're not coming out. So if he tries to run, he's y'all's. We're not coming out of the house. Okay. All right, unless you hear us yell, we need help. Stay outside and just Rose, cover the perimeter. Rose has got his county radio. Okay. He'll let him know. All right. Okay. All right, so apparently uh, we're pretty confident the guy's in there. We've watched a couple of drug transactions taking place at the house. Yeah, um, and uh, so based on that, we're believing that he's up inside the residence. There's a male that's coming to the door, but we can't ID him 100%, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, hit this place. It's window to the right. I got the window to the right. I got the window to the right. Ready? Go. Move. Police, come to the door! Open the door! Watch the steps. Got the right. Burglar bars. Kyle again. Open bar. Up. Bar. 
Need the bar. Tony, get the ram. What are you doing? I got the door. Police! Go, Tim. Get to the left. Watch your right. Get to the left! Get, get down! Get down! Get him! I'm with your right. Cover me. Stay right there! Watch the door to the left, okay? Move forward. Watch the door to the right. Watch the door to the right. Go get a light switch on the wall so you can hit it. Who else is in the house? Who else in the house? Nobody. Get down! Put your face down on the ground in your hand. Get flat. Look at all the pot. We got a bunch of dope here, too. Get your hands behind your back. I need another set. Here you go. You got any weapons on you we need to know about? Give it here. What's your name? Craig, sir. Craig, put your hands behind your back. Now. Go straight ahead. Who else in the house? Nobody, sir. Don't start lying. Oh, yeah. uh, the seat's broken. Somebody was getting up in there. This is a police U.S. Marshals. We are not going anywhere. Come down now. Don't take a chance of getting shot. Come up to the side of now and give it up. We got a dog coming in. We're going to send a dog in the attic after you. Jermaine, we know you're up, man. Your brother's already getting you up. Can you see him? I got him. I got him. Hands. Show me your hands. Hands. Well, no way. No I way. You. I got you. I got you. I got you. Come to me. Crawl. Crawl. You better keep your hand up. Crawl. Head first. Head first. All right. Yeah. Hands first. Don't move. Got him. Crawl. Yeah, I got it, I got it. Get him, pull him, drag him Go. out. Watch his head. Okay. Get your hands behind your back. Watch, there's a mag on the ground. I don't fit to mine or his. Oh. Got a set of cuffs? Yeah. Got him. Anybody else up there? Anybody else up there? No, sir. We're going, up. We're going up. Did you leave anything up there? No, sir. Anybody else up there? Come out now! Everybody be quiet. Shh, everybody keep quiet. I heard movement again. Come on, Jermaine. Come on. You're helping yourself a lot. I need to know. Shh. I need to know how many guys you saw go in the attic. Two. You saw. Yeah. And then the other, you got, you and the other one guy were the only ones. Okay. Is that the guy that went in the attic? Yeah, Thank man. you. All right. Jermaine, come on, man. Ain't nobody going nowhere. It was cracking right there. And over there, so. You go. I'm going to talk. Just guys, keep it down. Jermaine, listen to me. My name is Wayne, I'm with the U.S. Marshals. Listen to me, we are not going anywhere, son. I got voice, shut up! Shut up, crawl! Cause the SWAT team's coming, son, I want hands first. All right, hands first. Hands first, don't say anything else but your hands. I can't move, sir, I'm coming. Got hands, everybody stop. Hands first. Grab him, grab him. I'm coming, sir. Grab him. Come on, bring me a hand. Come on, hand I can't move, Got sir. Hand. I'm oh, come on. Give me a Watch his head. Watch his head. Watch his head. Look at you. Look at you. Get him out of here. Watch the rip. Watch the attic. We still need to clear it. We've already gotten two out. We don't know if there's more. Hey, if there's anybody else upstairs, you need to come out now. We're coming up. Come with me. Door. Okay. It's empty. Okay, can you get up? Uh, roll over. Roll over. Down. Okay. Cross your feet. Anybody else up there? No. Good job. We got done yet, and he was he kept claiming the guy ran out back. All right, here's your radio. Thanks. Good job. Good? Good job, man. Good job, brother. Thanks, sir. Good sir, job. thank you for your help. Yeah. I'll be good. Day late and a dollar short again. <laughs> Fortunate for us, they didn't decide to engage us. When we came in, this weapon was actually laying right on the floor, locked and loaded inside. They probably more than likely saw us coming up and decided not to use it. Based on our past experience, we thought maybe somebody was selling narcotics. Sure enough, we get inside and this is what we find. So our uh, suspicion turned out to be great thoughts. Now try and stand up. Good job, man. Good job, fellas. Good job.